So, Si, look, we're a professional fisherman. You know, I'm buddies with a lot of oh, the yeah. boys. Oh, yeah. Well, their boss sent out an email thanking 47 of them for adhering to a dress code that he asked them to do. There's a dress code to fish? Apparently. He, his deal is he wants them to look professional and not wear blue jeans. Wait a minute. Essentially. So 47 <laughs> of them did it, but the 48th one didn't. So he sent out an email to so all catching, 40. He's catching a bunch of crap. By well, the way. he sent out an email to all 48 of them thanking 47 of them. <laughs> Ain't, no, just to throw shade at the one guy who. I, th this is the deal on that. <laughs> you know what that Without means. the fishermen. You have nothing. So you may not want to make your talent mad. Well, not only that. Like, and who doesn't wear blue jeans going fishing? Well, no, no. Not only that. Yeah. Hey, you go and try to make a living fishing. Yeah. Instead okay. of selling and, the fishermen. Yeah, and then get back to me. Okay, but this political uh, correctness. Wait, are blue jeans political now? Uh, hey, that stuff needs to go be put in a toilet and the and flush it. Conformity. And let it go. Nope. Uh, I can't bow down to conformity. I just don't I'll be like understand. Si, naked on here's, the boat waiting. Now here's the deal. Hey. <laughs> we just watched we just watched the biggest golf tournament arguably of the year. The Masters. They can't wear shirts. And hey, everybody was blown away too by how he returned from a a horrible car accident. And look, here's all I'm going to say. There's an expectation set with the Masters and with professional golf in general. Oh, yeah. That you dress with slacks, a polo shirt, everything's well, good. Well, we've no, not, we've known that, that for years. That, hey, that's standard. There we go. Yeah. That's, okay, the standard. that's the standard for that sport. Is there a dress code to go fishing? No. Is there a dress code to go duck hunting? No. Why in the world do we want to regulate these kind of things? The coolest thing to me about meeting a lot of these people is to see that they're human just like I am. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Be relatable yeah. to the people. Yeah, they put their pants on one leg at a time also. Hold yes. on, they can't wear okay. boots anymore. Okay, and do so. just what we do. Every once in a while you get all balanced and bust your old butt. Be relatable. <laughs> like I see half of them fishermen, they get in there and take their shoes off. Oh, no. You know who else does that? John Goblin. Amen. Every time he goes fit, he, oh, no. he won't even build duck calls with shoes on. Yeah. Goblin doesn't do anything with shoes on. He wears them to get into the door. Right. Let them and breathe. And that's it. After hey, that, they go. Let them breathe, gone. baby. So, I mean, oh, I'm yeah. just like, I, I, for the life of me, that is where a lot of these people are missing the connection with their fans. Is They, they try to make them unobtainable, untouchable, like they're better. Like, look at it, what are we wearing today. <laughs> We all hey, wearing t-shirts. I'm wearing what you call. Those are the shortest shorts I've seen John David wear in yeah. a minute. Those I'm, I'm wearing what you there. call. I was just sitting in a weird angle. Comfortable soft clothing. That's what yeah. I'm saying. He doesn't wear okay. blue jeans. He wears gray jeans. Yeah. And uh -huh. I really do. Oh, think. I got them all colored gray, uh, <laughs> brown. I don't think I blue. own a pair of blue jeans. But I really do think that's why our show Duck Dynasty was so good people and successful could relate. well here's here's it's because a, we were relatable here's well, a phil robertson wears the same thing no matter what he's going here's to here's a danger wear alert a black shirt here's a shirt. danger that's alert funny. don't put anybody on a pedestal there you go okay that's true it, guess what's gonna happen there it is you're gonna get let down hey he's gonna fail you yep. or she's gonna fail you there you go okay so, hey just yeah you know, i'm just confused on the fishing uniform what is he supposed yeah. to wear shorts I guess shorts or, or like khakis. Khaki? Or, or like, like fishing like pants. fishing britches, maybe. You Next know? thing you know, you have to have a tux on to go get in. Well, the look, I wear fishing britches instead of <laughs> jeans, but I also understand that, like, fishing britches ain't for everybody. Well, I no, love no. Them. Well, I got a pair. Of, no, hey, Stone yeah. got me on to turn me on to that. I know, and I love them. Okay, because here's the deal. I went in a, with a pair of blue jeans in August. Yeah. Right, I like yeah. that. Stroke, heat stroke. Yeah. Well, and August Stone said, "Hey, look, you need to try these fishing bridges, okay? They're real paper thin, and they're all comfortable. Yeah, you yeah. know, hey, I can see that because it's good common sense, and it you're cooler. But we're springtime right now, where it's a little yeah. chilly in yeah. the morning, in between, and it warms up during the day. So jeans are a pretty good, hey. a good all around wear. They're warm enough in the mornings, but you don't sweat to death when it gets seventy five in the afternoons. You know what I wear fishing? 
Oh, I can't wait. Shorts and flip-flops. Swimsuit, just in case. Just in case you fall in. No, just in case I jump in. Or that. In case he catches something. In case I want to go swimming. Jump in and celebrate. At some point, I'm always down for a good time. If fish ain't biting, you might go swimming. Ski behind him. And there was this one episode of Duck Dynasty where they tried to put us on a dress code here. That didn't work out too well. No. Ham- that was God's that ham sandwich? Line. Hey. Yeah. What do we want? The ham people, sandwich. The people revolted. When do we want it? Now. <laughs> I Man. never understood dress codes. Godwin, because of that episode, no. has written ham sandwich at least a half a million times. That's it. Since. They made him fine. Ham sandwich. Right. Ham but, sandwich. But dress codes ain't for everybody. They, I, they, they ain't for everybody. It ain't for every business. It ain't for, quit trying it. Like, get off that. That's, that's what I don't understand. I'm a, I mean, I would, if the place has a dress code, I'm probably not welcome there. Yeah, there's a strong chance. Hmm. It's that w- like that place in Las Vegas I went and ate that took my took my hat from me. I was like, no, nah, Hammer. They took your hat? Yeah. No hats allowed? No hat. Not only did I was like, okay, I'll, I'll take it off when I sit down. No, I didn't make it past the host stand. I got in on my way back out. <laughs> hey, we had to dress up and have a, a suit and a jacket to get into a place and Where's that? Uh, in Tennessee, where we were at, the speakeasy. Uh-oh. You remember they they made us dress up and go into oh, that place. Oh yeah, okay. It's okay. it's the place underneath the Johnny Cash Museum. Yeah, it's uh what house of cards. Yeah, but I ain't scared to wear a sequin jacket. Now. Well, here's right. the thing. Yeah. It, well, it's size, size well, inch. Hey, I look good in it, boy. <laughs> but but even Bring if you didn't hey. have it, we've never been somewhere where now they've made other people adhere to a dress code, but not size never done it. I mean, he's Jay's, just like, hey, I got my, come on in, Si. Jay Stray got kicked out of the Trump Hotel right. in New York because oh, I, I like watched it. it. Yeah, I like I watched that. it happen. Yeah. Me and Willie that got was, kicked out. That was out. funny. And then the next day, he was on Fox's Friends, and it was in public. <laughs> and, hey, he, and the next time we come to the Trump Tower, there was pictures of all the Robertson clan behind the desk, yeah. the check-in desk. Really? Yeah, like wanted to funny. <laughs> I didn't know that part. Oh, no, it was it was hilarious. It really was. The only place that was actually fun. Me and Willie went to a fancy restaurant, and I was pretty much dressed like this because we were like getting off a plane, and we went in there, and they said, um, "Y'all don't fit the dress code. Can you step aside?" By the they like ushered us into another room because the members were looking, oh. and Willie goes, well, what do we, well, we can, we got our bags, we can switch some stuff up, like, what do we need to do? And they looked at me and goes, that guy's not even close. That's what the dude said. <laughs> and Willie got so mad, he goes, I'm about to tweet this, and we're going somewhere else. Yeah. Uh-huh. And we went to the Capitol Grill, and they treated us like kings. What's Seafood the, Tower, baby. What's yeah, the baby. Restaurant, what's the restaurant that runs on top, it's on top, and it rotates in New Orleans? James Bond? No, no, the restaurant dun, 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 in dun, New Orleans. Dun, dun, dun. No, no, yeah, it's in uh, Texas. No, this is it. There's one in New Orleans. It's the, uh, the one. What I think uh, Seattle, Washington has got one. That does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Fair on the needle. they got one in New Orleans too. Because okay. I, I was dating a little Cajun from down there, and that's where I, that's where we went. <laughs> now look, the carousel sixty huh. years ago. Well, yeah. whatever it is. But anyway. Look. Look. Johnny D saying it ain't in New Orleans. No, if he no. Googles it, there it is. <laughs> look, Johnny D geez. claims to have spent more time in New Orleans than a New Orleans resident. But look, hey, <laughs> when we come in, okay, look, I got on, I think I'm just pretty good, and she is too. I got on slacks and a nice shirt. She's got on a nice evening gown, okay? Okay. Looking, looking like a million dollars. Mm-hmm. Okay, but guess who's all in this restaurant? <laughs> There ain't nobody under about 75 years old. Perfect. What time y'all go for? Oh, no. no, no. No, no, no. It was late at night. But look, here's the, the funny part was, hey, everywhere you look, all these ladies in there, they've got pearl necklaces that is worth that are worth a million dollars. Diamonds everywhere. Rubies nec- everywhere. Look, and when we walked in and they sat us down at the table, everybody in the joint is looking at us. Yeah, and she said, I think we just should get up and leave. You know. Did you? I said, no. <laughs> I said, leave? I said, no, I'll fix to rub this in their face. <laughs> I said, hey, my money, I, I said, I ain't got a whole bunch of money like all these clowns, but my money's just as good, and I'm fixing to order me a big steak and have a good time. I did life. never understand that. Like, oh. your $100 is worth the same as their $100. $100 what, what does it matter? Yeah. Like if you're gonna take somebody's money, you're gonna take it anyway. Yeah, so they all they all doing the glance, the little glance every once in a while. And when they do, I'm just talking about 
<laughs> hey, look that, over here at me, woman. Don't be just glancing. That's an ice. You got stare. something to say? Say it, baby. Uh, <laughs> We've been all been looked at a time or two. Oh. <laughs> What's yeah. that Jace always said? We've all been facially profiled. Oh, one hundred. Like, uh, yeah, this group here. Is, oh. And every time I get tickled, because eventually somebody says, "Are you that?" Yeah. Oh, well, come on in, sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And then you get looked at by the people who are waiting in line mm-hmm. because you're going ahead of everybody. Yeah, it, it, it just. The funniest thing is. We're judging books by their covers, people. Thank Good night. you. When, yeah. when right. size in the airport and people are looking at him, they're kind of. They're kind of staring him down, and then they see him and sitting in first class, and they're like, now, who is this guy? They just give him a good stare down. As he but, wheels his way on there. Oh, he's hey, been the wheeling. Funniest, the funniest thing that ever happened to him was such a blast was he gave me his music. <laughs> music hey, for years. That ain't bad manners. Hey, that's good look, tea. Hey, it's just good tea. <laughs> I couldn't hold it back. But anyway, he gave me his ear muffs, okay, and he's got good music on them. So look for about we we got about a seven hour layover, and I gave a concert for about six hours. Okay, mm. laying on the floor. Mm. Yeah, oh, we got man. video of that. Oh no, and yeah. we had a blast. Okay, and the fans loved it. My buddy Jeffrey saw you and said, "Man, what's up with your friend?" I said, "He's a crazy man." <laughs> well, there you go, folks. Hey, I was on key and in tune, and hey, I gave a good. Of all the things you've ever been in key and on yeah. tune, ain't well, to either of them. Oh no, no, that was it, buddy. Hey, I was, <laughs> so I was hot that night. I got a story about something that happened this weekend. <laughs> well, let's tell it when we get back. But now, let's leave. Take let's take. Let's take this first break. Right. Still. That way I have Don't judge a book by its cover. Wear blue jeans fishing if you want. Wear a swimsuit <laughs> fishing if you want. Free Wear world. overalls fishing if and you want. And dress codes are dumb. You know, it's always a great idea to keep learning new skills. I, I'm at a point in my life where I'm about to have to. I'm about, about to, to have to learn skills. a few new ones. A lot myself. of them. Yeah, 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 you're a big boy. Hey. You know, uh, we're gonna learn how to change diapers. We're gonna learn how to. Oh, speaking keep of that, two humans have you alive. Got a learning curve. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of one. Why? Can okay. you straighten it out? Yeah, yeah, you know, no. But I know somebody that is coming on on their way to help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> you always gotta you be got to be learning, Mark. Uh, you're look, always gonna be learning. Look, if you're always learning like the rest of us are, it helps keep you sharp. Like ZipRecruiter, their AI is always learning. So if you're hiring, they, their AI gets better and faster at finding the right candidates for all of your roles. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash duck. ZipRecruiter uses its powerful technology to find and match the right candidates up to your job. Then it proactively presents these candidates to you. You can easily review these recommended candidates and invite your top choices to apply for your job, which encourages them to apply faster. No wonder ZipRecruiter is the number one rated hiring site in the U.S., based on G2 ratings. And now you can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash duck. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash D-U-C-K, D-U-C-K, ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. All right, we're back. So, Phil, you, you said you had a pretty good one from this past weekend. What did you and old man do this weekend? Well, we went to um, Tennessee, but we didn't go to Nashville. This time we went to Memphis. Oh, Memphis. Side did an event with the VFW. Uh, let's see. Brian Walker is over the whole state. He's the state he's commander. He's the state commander, and he's a beautiful man. He is. He is. Okay, no, his, no, I'm serious. He's wife, a beautiful man. Okay, and uh, hey. <laughs> his wife, well, don't Elizabeth, get this makes wrong, great tea. Okay. That means he has a good mind and a good heart. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's beautiful that way. So, so si, he, he loves that and he does stuff to take care of him. And it was it was a great event because Cy si got to meet with all these different people. And it wasn't in the line where he was having to go, 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 go. We're go. sitting down on the couch. He got to s- and sit talk and talk and converse with, with a lot of people. And it was good. You know, m- the military guys, people who have, who have, uh, who have been in the service, it's good for them to talk about things. And yeah. Sai is a great listener and an advocate to everything that they're doing. So, Sai, did you have a blast this weekend? Oh, no. I, I had more fun. That's the most fun I've had in oh, 20 years. You know, there, there was a uh, lot of what, fun. The last living uh, veteran uh, Medal of Honor winner. 
but he wasn't there. We talked about him, okay? And then, then they, what was cool was then he went to the next guy, <clears throat> and it was a top uh, gun candidate. Okay. When Tom Cruise made the movie, this guy was actually flying and, and correcting Tom Cruise and the yeah. other guy about how to put on the uniform correctly. Wait, He's, you mean Tom Cruise didn't fly that plane? Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> I thought well, Tom that Cruise I, do everything. That, that I don't know, but hey, I'm oh, actually sitting That's beside it. a guy, and so the first question I asked him, I said, hey, you know, what, what did you drive? You know, and he said, uh, oh, I, I should say, not drive. What did you fly? <laughs> and he said, F-14s. And I said, and what is the speed? Well, he says the, the, the uh, Air Force term, Mach 2. That's fast. Well, no, no, no. See, I, that's the I thing. know what that is. That don't do it justice. Mach 2 don't tell me what's, how fast he's going. But I, I just tell the story that he told me. When you can fly a plane fast enough, okay, that it will burn the paint off of the aircraft, that's fast. 1,535 yeah. miles, miles per hour. Per hour. He, he flew that fast? Oh, yeah. And look, he didn't even hit but 800 to do it. That, 800 miles an hour. He wasn't going Mach 2, but he burnt the paint off. And when, when the guy, you know, they stand there and, and, and park the plane, <laughs> you know, and do this here and stop it, right, stop it. Well, when, <laughs> when the guy's doing that to him, he's shaking his head, telling him, and the pilot is saying, I know I got to go see the commander. I went over the speed limit. Yeah, because he doesn't smoke this plane where it ain't got no paint on it no more. He also went 1,535 miles. Yeah, yeah he flew it. At a different, yes. Time. That's yeah. what he was Cause telling Because it's me. what it is. It's how you got the uh, speed that breaks the sound barrier. They fly supersonic speed. So, you know, one thing that I was, when you were telling me the story about talking to him, is, I mean, how does somebody think that fast if you're traveling that fast? No, no, no. You have That's to maneuver. Why, hey, this is every time they got to make a move, a move with that stick. You're talking in nanoseconds. You know, and to pull the trigger on the guns. Okay, <laughs> you're running at Mach two. <laughs> you know, what's the lead on this baby? You know. <laughs> I, I'd feel probably too safe on that thing. So yeah. They're going to shoot behind me. Ain't yeah. nobody going to get out in front of me. Nope. No, no. They're not going to lead oh, you. Yeah, yeah if you miss, you're, you shoot, you're behind him, trust me. If you shoot a bullet going forward at that fast, does it move? Because <laughs> well, hey, it's laying behind you. Is it, it no, goes, no, it just hey, goes out the boot and then just. <laughs> you, will have to per, you will have to talk to a professor of <laughs> physics to do all this. Yo. Martin? No, yeah. no. I hate it. <laughs> Martin's a biologist. Yeah. Hate so it. you had the most fun you've ever had. Oh, no. It because was... you talked to a man that, that actually that flew really fast planes. Oh, yeah. And I got a picture of you in front of a train. Yep. Well, no, there no, he uh, is. No, no, because men, and here, here's the coolest part. I'm just so confused on where all time, this is going. No, I, met, I met all the, the pilots of the Blue Angels. Yeah. Okay, because of the show. Duck Dynasty. Oh, yeah. And they was trying to rig it. They, it, it about three different times I was supposed to show up and actually get to fly in one of them. That would have been amazing. Okay, and they never did work it out. In, in a way, I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, you wouldn't be here, buddy. Yeah, because probably the G's that they pulled in them I things, don't think your ticker could yeah, take it. My, my heart probably couldn't <laughs> take it. That's right. <laughs> so that was just God taking care of me. Yeah. Okay. I think of what Cy si really enjoyed, and I was noticing it because I was trying to keep the line moving, and he was, he told stories and did things, but he was like, let them, just let them sit and talk. We're just going to. So he got to kind of really, I think Cy si, si was probably being therapeutic to a lot of these veterans, and he was also getting to tell some of his stories, you know. And it's different when you put veterans together. They got things to talk about that maybe me and Martin don't or me and Johnny D. No, I'm still trying to do the math in my head of a thousand miles an hour taking off at eight hundred. No, no, and I got a yeah. picture of a train. Yeah. yeah. Now and you're still, start, now you're starting to understand. Still one of the greatest feats to me in history of all this stuff. Not going fast. How in the world did they build a boat that big that'll float and hold all them things? 
and figure out how many did they run off into the ocean to figure out how long they needed to make that runway before one of them got like how, yeah, how no, many of them went no. to the end of it and went bloosh like i mean you know you start because there's only one way to test this stuff like yeah. somebody got to get in it well somebody no, got no. hurt to Ooh, find out no, no, yeah, I'm not like long you. Enough. okay i'm that's not incredible you. i had a veteran okay he was in the navy okay and he had a scrapbook and he we're going through and looking at his scrapbook okay he's in communication Okay, they're on a destroyer. Okay, in a, in a typhoon storm. Yeah, big gunship. At sea. Yeah, big. Okay, so heavy. the communication is not working. So guess what? He's got to go on the tower. Nope. <laughs> Look, he's got a picture of him. Okay, now he's got a belt on. Okay, but he's at the top of this destroyer, and the waves. Look, the ship is doing this. Going back hey, and forth. In a in a For swell, look, in a swell of a wave, he's skinned with his hand on the water. That big of a boat turned at a forty yeah. at a yeah. forty five essentially. Yeah. Like this. Okay, and he's skinned with his hand on the ocean wave. Mm. And then he shows then it does this, okay, and he's doing it on the other side. Ain't no way them boys get paid enough. No, no. I'm no, a big, no chance. I'm a big fan you, of I'm looking dry ground. I said, this idiot like to went into the Navy. I said, I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. I said, you have got to be kidding me. The uh, Navy's got to be tough. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, my dad was in the Navy. Was he? Yeah. I didn't know that. During the war. That's where you can get yourself clean. You know, not only that, my mother, okay, actually riveted. B fifty two, B B twenty sevens, planes. Yep, I like tell, tell, tell Johnny oh, D about Bartsville? the plaque yeah, in tell, World War Two. Sure that's yeah. cool. Tell him about the plaque you got uh, on the wall. Yeah, yeah. People come in and say, "Goodness, I didn't know you was in the Navy." And my dad's got a picture, yeah. you know. And I said, "I'm I, I wasn't." And they said, "Well, that looks just like you." And I said, "Well, that's my dad." And then he's got one where it's a it's a piece of a ship. Where his mom had done the riveting to these different planes. That's cool. So that's pretty awesome. Well, no, no, and Randy, of uh, yeah, you know, Eagle Pipeline Eagle. Okay, he actually bought me a picture of the uh, Memphis Bell, which is a World War II bomber. Oh, that's cool. And there's okay. a little piece of metal. It's got, in it. it's got another. It's the same thing. Piece of metal, you know, off of the actual plane. <laughs> yeah, but oh, hey, no. they used the vet used to talk about it. Okay. Them things would come back and land in England after a bombing raid. And everybody that worked on them just couldn't believe it. Poke full of holes. Oh, just <laughs> yeah. unbe unbelievable. It's a good okay. thing they was in the air and not the water. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was unbelievable because when true. you're talking, I'm talking about boat Volks, size, Volkswagen yeah. size holes yeah. and wings and the body and everything. Literally mm. just shot to pieces, mm. Mm. and them four four big engines they had prop engines, bring them home, baby. I know we've oh, said yeah. it before, ah. and I'm gonna always say it. Yeah, I love hearing these kind of stories. Thank you Whoa. to the men and women yep. that serve our yep. nation. Absolutely, Absolutely. Yep. amen. Let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Go back 58 years ago. Okay, that makes this old man. 16 years old, and I weighed about 130 pounds. Oh, and I man. played a, foot, a lot of football, and I didn't have no sense because I would hit the biggest man on the field and try to tackle him. And Thank I was you. 130 pounds, and he no. weighed about 250. You know, I had a lot of what you would call inflammation and pain in the joints of this old body. Mm -hmm. Back then, when I was young, I had them. And look, I tried everything over the counter you could buy. You know, I wish I knew what back then, what I know today. What's that, Sam? Because, hey, I would have went and got some of a bottle of Omega XL, okay? You order the first one, and you get the second one free. Thank you. Okay? And look, for all that pain in my wrists, my legs, my knees, my shoulder, when I hit these big guys that just run over me and just stomp me into the ground. <laughs> Omega okay, XL. Omega Papa. XL would have took care of the problem. Oh, Bing. look. If you can only find it one place on this planet. What's that place? In the ocean. <laughs> Off the New Zealand coast. Thank you. 
Oh, man, those pristine waters in New Zealand never get old. Look, our listener Monty in Richmond, Kentucky, is excited about Omega XL as he is about the grand opening of Bucky's. Uh Uh-oh. What? That's big time. He said, I've been using Omega XL for a few months now, and I'm feeling a lot better since I've started, and I want to thank you all for showing me a great product. So, Our pleasure. That's exactly right. If you want to be like Monty, if you want to be like Cy, go hit our buddies up at Omega XL. See what they can do for you. We know they can restore your SPMs and rejuvenate joints and muscles so that you can move like when you were young. Order Omega XL and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-48. Put 88 on in note. 1-800-844-48. Put 88 on in note, baby. For not one, but, but two, two bottles. And the last one is free. All right. What is this thing in the middle of the room? Where did that come from? Well, a fan gave me that in Collierville, Memphis, Tennessee. Collierville, that's right. It's, oh, uh, that's where we were. On the back of it, I think it's Sounders. Mm-hmm. Sounders Shop. Oh, I yeah. almost dropped yeah. it. I think Sounders it's Shop yeah. made in Sounders the U.S. Shop of made in well, thank Tennessee. You. So, Martin, you're going to love this. I like this. decorations. From the time we got to the airport in Memphis to where we did the event in Collierville and told a bunch of stories and had a great time. Y'all flew to Memphis? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Can't have money, Martin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On a private plane. To call- oh! oh! <laughs> well, you said you said airport. You didn't say FBO. That makes way more sense there. No, but a lot of people ask about us about say, the podcast. I was about to say, because commercial, man, you bet way better off just driving to Memphis. That's, that one's Walking sick. in Memphis. But anyway, go Bill's, ahead. No, we, we got asked a lot about this podcast and, and us getting calls in and emails about answering questions and things and People love the podcast. I was surprised how many people ask us about it. People actually like this thing, and yeah. Yeah. I still can't well, figure it out either. You know, and, and I was telling them all, I said, well, the thing that surprises me the most is a fan writes in and says, okay, I'm struggling with this. What do y'all have? What's some, you know, the, what am I trying to say here, boys? People actually care about our advice on well, serious well, matters. You know, what? How do I deal with this? I'm yep. having a problem with this. How do I deal with it? And I said, what surprised me was, I said, you got four guys, and and them four guys give their opinion of how to deal with it. And I was shocked that the four guys are actually that smart. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Their answers just really blow my mind sometimes. I don't and know. That'd be what, J.D., Martin, Philip, Stone. Uh, John Gowan, and Stone. Okay. I don't know. Six of us. I don't know that we're necessarily that smart, but no. it just goes to show you that everybody lives. And one of us, or a lot of times two of us, have been through the situation that they're describing. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's like the, the song. That's the cool lean thing. on me. Yeah, I, you may have a problem. Lean on yeah. me. That I may you know understand. Yeah, because nice. I mean I've Good had time. some of them. I've strapped those out. I don't well. know. Yeah, I ain't. I, ain't, I got nothing on. Can't that. help on some of them, but that's why it's, uh, there's an important word that we use called community, and it's important yeah. to have that in your life. Well, no, no, my and best, we're kind my of best we kind of got this. a little community that listens to us. So. Yeah. yeah, my best line on this is okay. Hey, life happens, and then how you deal with it, okay, is what's what's great. Absolutely, yeah. we also and got hey, feedback. And everybody, everybody. <clears throat> Need somebody to lean on sometimes. We also got feedback that Martin is a fantastic facilitator. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, what no. I'm saying if that, yeah. if they told me they if one sigh. person told me that, a hundred told me. Uh, okay. They said, "Hey, Martin keeps you guys going and don't let it ever, you know, get stagnant." So hey, to speak. folks, let me tell y'all, I, I may be decent at that, but what y'all aren't appreciating is the power of editing. So. <laughs> Go, Hunter. Let's Good just, job, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to give credit where credit's well, no, due. No. We sit here no, and opine, no, no. but no, the no. people behind yeah. the screen yeah. are just as important to this thing as we are, which is well, what I think a lot of people struggle with in life is giving those other people credit because well, they want it all for themselves, yeah. and that's something we've never done. Yeah, it's true. Period, end of story. And it, it's just like whenever you see the quarterback, thank the offensive lineman. Like, those guys don't ever get any. Hey. They don't ever get any credit. So What he's a, trying to say is, hey, it's bigger than you. Absolutely. Okay. This bigger is bigger than us. This is a team effort. 
and it always, when it comes together and is good, kudos to all players yeah. in it. It's a team effort where Jesus is a coach. That's we it. got the best coach in the world. Oh, yeah. yeah. Best coach the world's ever seen. <sighs> Yep. Which this is a big week for that. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, this yeah. is the week that that's we right. celebrate an empty tomb, you know. Oh, man, yep. I can't wait to talk about that. Yep. So that's that's It is awesome. Easter week. With yeah. This one will air the day before Good Friday. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Day before the saddest day in the world gets replaced three days later by the happiest day in the world. Boom. Ain't that something? Yep. There's one song that they sing at For Our Worship, and the line is, and he's, he begins to breathe. <laughs> Up from the grave yeah. he arose. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I think your grandfather wrote that I'm song. You, nah, he wrote a, he gave me hey, a song. I could drive my hair through a you, you, truck right I can now. see his arms. Yeah, it's, it's stood up. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you talking about Living Hope? Uh, what are you talking about, son? Is that the song you're talking about, uh, Living Hope? Is that the name of it? That's a jam. Oh, I, I just know that when they the, the line in Your it, buried body began to breathe? Yeah, his buried one? body began to breathe. Out of this. Yeah. It's the roaring uh, line. Yeah, that's why. Declared I, the grave has, has no claim. I can't that's sing, that. but that song, I'll, I'll run through a brick wall, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Easter. Oh, man. That is. I got thrown off there. I got excited. It's a big week, man. There's, yeah. a, there's a lot of reasons to be excited. Absolutely. And it's because promises were kept and the best coach in the world still living. He cannot lie. The scheme of redemption, y'all. That's the thing. He cannot lie. So, hey, he's promised me that this old body of mine, he'll raise it again. Zip. Yeah. And that's why, like I said, death, death, okay, is nothing but a change of address. And you know what happens on Monday? You go to the store and you find all the Reese's eggs that are left over <laughs> half price. <laughs> well, that's just another benefit, Martin. I mean, yeah, you get your body back, hey, but you look, also you go to get some chocolate out of it. You're going to get them Reese's hey, eggs. It's a silver lining in a dark cloud. <laughs> 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 Reese's are at half uh, price. Oh Reese's God. are at half price. Get in line, boys. Oh, my goodness. I love it. That's funny. I'm telling you, man. It's a, it's, a, it's a cool week. As a Christian, it's our biggest week yeah. of the year. You know, I told my kids early on, and I I mean, I, I still say it. I never get off of it. You know, this is a story where the good guys win. This is it. It's not a make-believe. This is all real. And we've talked about the resurrection since they could understand English, you know. And it is, it's the most powerful thing that's ever happened. We're keeping time by it 2,022 years ago. Something happened that everybody still talks about. So yeah, that they reset the clock on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if something that's happens right. where you reset yeah. the clock, that's something a big deal. Big happened. That's right. a big deal. They reset the and calendar. Hey, and the Jack. reason they done it, it was a man. A man showed up. Yep. Yeah. They didn't okay. reset that clock when when others. They only reset. Oh, there's it been once. a bunch of them show up. Right, but yeah. here's the thing. But they ain't telling time by him. Not yeah. si, here's Okay, the so thing. hey, look, if we're telling time by him, something maybe big you happened. ought to take the book that's been written about him and actually read it and find out who he is. Because he was God in the flesh. Yep. And he was a perfect sacrifice. He never sinned one time. Ever. Ever. Was made as Phil every, Roberts would say, just like he us. don't ever flare ducks. Ever. Ever. <laughs> A worthy sacrifice. <laughs> I hadn't heard that one. Oh, Phil got them lines. Man. Oh, well, you know what? Before we go next break, I I call Phil on Thursday, tell him about us having oh, twins. about half the baby the twins. Oh yeah. <laughs> I I don't know why I should have had Brittany record this conversation. <laughs> Can, Can we guess up? what he said? Oh, I, I hear <laughs> a one liner. Old... I hear a one liner coming yeah. up, boys. He said, "Huh, two in one shot." <laughs> He, he paused and he said, I've seen you do I've it. Seen you do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Crap. Yeah. That's good stuff. Bill Robertson, the man, the man of endless wit. I'll give him that. Even at 70, whatever he's about to 75. turn. 75. That, uh, that brain's still sharp. Oh. Excuse me. 76. Era. 76. Right? Because you're going to be uh, 74. Yeah, I'm fixing to be 74. Yeah. 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 yeah Let's get this straight. What's oh, so lady. funny? Look, it's three days between our birthdays, and two and years. Two years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Three days and two years. What day is yours? The twenty first? Uh, twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. He's the twenty fourth. He's twenty fourth. Uh, Willie just put out his 
his deal about it, birthday bash, turning 50, and it's on the 24th. Well, hi, here's the deal. If anybody was wanting to go to Willie's birthday party, now well, you know the of, day. <laughs> and I said, wait a minute, did Willie, was Willie born on the 24th? And Willie was, Christine said, no, no, that's just the day they have it. What's he? 22nd. 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 Him and Missy both are the 22nd, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of them. And Phil, people. yeah. And Britney's is the 30th. Of, of April? God, yeah. I hope you're right, man. Are you kidding yeah. me? That was, so is Paula Ooh. Goblin. Don't miss that one. My son's the 26th. Uh-huh. There's a bunch of us around here born hey, in April. I've been, yeah. and my, grief. I've been married 30 years, April 18th. Me and Godwin oh. both married a woman born on the same day. And I'll say this, it, what holds true about both of them is their headstones are going to read something like, here lies Brittany, here lies Paula. They were a little lippy. <laughs> they were a little lippy. You get up in there in them Tauruses and you start messing with that bull, son, they, they, they get lippy. These April babies, these spring babies is... It's lippy, side lippy too. Now I wouldn't know. Don't anything. Let him fool yeah. you. I wouldn't know anything about that. Yeah, here we go. Uh, <laughs> May fifteenth. Come on, hey, come on, my come birthday. on with Thank it. You. Yeah. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. All right, what you want for your birthday? Nothing. Good. Buy me something. Hey, why don't you want anything for your birthday? He never wants anything. Hey, I don't need. But anything. I want to give you something. Well, if, just to get, make it come from the heart. <laughs> what about like this Black Panther? <laughs> I've already got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> now, unless, <coughs> unless it's a real one. That's right. Unless it's a real. Oh, you think we could get like tiger petting? Oh, we we could go to the Monroe Zoo where there is a Black Panther. Let's do it. And I think they'd let us in. What take do you think? Take Mark? us on oh, the road. I guess a black jaguar. There we go. Come on, man. It's kind of our thing. No, right? no, it's a black jaguar. I, I, I ain't going to be lying for you. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I think that's now, I'm not going to get off of the one I've seen, okay? <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey. You know. All right. So uh, the one at the Monroe. That, I mean, really, because I just watched the, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Wagon Train. I just watched Wagon Train, and, hey, the Indians raided a Wagon Train a long time ago. And a little girl, eight years old, was they take her away, or they thought they did. And then Clint McCullough found her, okay, and she's got wolves that live with her. Are you talking about a Western? Okay, Western. Okay. Yeah, I, I Googled Wagon yeah. Train. Oh, yeah. I haven't I seen it. Fine. It was fine. 1957, yeah. Cinema's Best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hey. She lived with wolves, okay, so it can be done. I think that's called Dances with Wolves. No, I think it's Dances with Wolves. That's another story. movie. I know that's Kevin, Kevin Costner. Oh, okay. good job, si. Katonka. Katonka. I, I have no idea what we're talking about. I don't about. Say, remember no, no, all no. this. Hey, stuff. when you don't get in with me and Western, son. I don't know, but unlike Johnny D, who was shaking his head no feverishly at a restaurant in New Orleans that revolved, <laughs> I've learned to not discount what the man says. So. That was a blast. I'm just telling you. I, I, if, if he's, a, he's got a memory. It's a, he's got a great memory, like and he reads. Elephant. He reads a lot. I catch him reading books all the time. I'm like, what, Sal, what are you doing? Oh no, he remembers good, every bit of it. Now, the on. only the only issue he's got is sometimes he puts that That's detail right. in another I actually, location. I and mixes this them up. story. Yeah. This story with this story. Well, hey, look. We and that's why he's the world's greatest storyteller. Hey, look. Very good at that. you got as many True. stories in your head that I've got. Yeah, every once in a while you're going to get them a little mixed. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> but you know the beauty about you is you tell it with a conviction that it's 100% true. Oh, he hey, does that. Look, you believe it. Yes, nope. he does. Nope. It ain't 100%. 95. 95. Only 95. But your conviction level but, is 100. Hey. That's the beauty right. of it. Right. That's I found his biggest fan when we went to Collierville. Her name was Sarah. She sat right beside Cy. For the hey, she was a student. Yep. A president of the student council. Mm-hmm. At a young, what, eight years old, I think. I think so. Lovely young lady. And she's reading your, both your books. And she's reading both of my books. What is it about you and eight-year-olds from Tennessee? Uh, he's eight years recognize. old. We have, we, they, they recognize he's eight years old. Fellow Hey, fellow kid. We had old young Saw Dog, wasn't that his name? Saw yeah. Sawyer. Saw Dog. Saw, he was eight from Tennessee. Now that we're kid. on to Sarah. Oh, that's yeah. eight from Tennessee. Yeah, she was a sweetheart too. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness gracious! Sigh, an eight-year-old. Sigh, you're a wild man. Johnny, how old's Carter? Eight. 
Yeah, he probably drop him off at size. Hey, hey, here's the deal. Even Sai couldn't tell. Oh no, hey, hey, <laughs> Brittany, and, Brittany and Mark don't know what they got into already. Here. No, I'm pretty sure. Okay, <laughs> has it has the has the fact that you're not having one but two children at the exact same time really settled in yet? Yeah, it has. It has. Yeah. How many onesies have you bought? Nothing yet. It better be an even number. <laughs> yeah, nothing yet. Everything has to be even number now. I ain't, I ain't if, bought nothing for them yet, but I did start cleaning out my my hunting room slash office yesterday. <laughs> I, I'm getting in the prepared stage. I just oh, I is that be... becoming the nursery? No. Are I'm... you losing? What are you losing? That's becoming the nursery. I think we're gonna move. <laughs> yep. He <laughs> lost. He's got it. a bigger pride, but bigger place. Well, it's not even that. My house is plenty big for that in my opinion, but I don't want to raise my kids in a subdivision. I want my kids to be raised like I was with two or three acres where they can go skip around, run around. If they want to run outside without their britches on, they can't, you know, and that, <laughs> that's just, that's where I want to raise my kid, where there's a pond, where there's trees, they got a BB gun, they can do whatever they want to. Like, I want them to have the same opportunities I had as a kid, and you just can't do that in a subdivision. Nope. So we're yeah. going, we're going to, we moving out of the subdivision and moving out to the edge of town somewhere once we find the right place and and that's that's so that's the biggest thing so i'm i'm trying to just clean out my stuff so it's not a massive race whenever it happens but uh, martin moving well on i'm out. wishing moving i'm on wishing up. for a boy and a girl that way you got one of each yeah, size fired up. I mean, he's yeah. gonna be an uncle again. Oh no, no, hey, oh, he's a he's a papa. I'm, hey, I'm gonna have no I'm, to I'm, your to I'm your kids. Serious. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna keep oh. these kids, and then when they get to acting up, I'm gonna say, "Come get these horrible little children." And I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna pull a you. I'm gonna hang up when my phone rings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then I'm gonna hear you're breaking up. You're yeah. breaking up. Bom. Bom. <laughs> I'll still be there tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll show up when I told you I'd pick them up. <laughs> Deal's a deal. Oh, oh my god martin no, the father a, of twins yep, it's a pair of them boys oh, yeah, everybody on tiktok think it's three i love it really mm -hmm. i'm not uh -oh. on tiktok hey no you better not because hey you talking about sneaky a third one yeah if there's, if there's three yeah first three are you talking about sneaky you have to watch that cat like a, somebody's always like going to be hawk. two to one if you've got yeah. three <laughs> if there's <laughs> three you automatically go to his own defense and i, I prefer <laughs> I to play man to man yeah so if there's three, we're gonna Martin's gonna take a drastic step back from this podcast for, me, well, for a that, few weeks. That and me and that doctor are gonna have to me and her are gonna have to go through counseling. <laughs> we already got big enough trust issues when we went from one to two. If we go to two to three, yeah, uh oh, we got I, coming. Me and Doctor Jones, we're gonna have to. We got to talk. You got uh -oh. some explaining. That reminds me of a song about Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. Yeah. We got a thing going on. I got a thing going on. Yeah, and it's boy. called a lack of trust <laughs> at this point. A lack of trust, baby. Oh, man. I love it's, it. Yeah, I've got like four TikTok videos, and one of them, that one's got like 1.5 million views. It's, it's a good, good video. I've, I've seen the video. Oh. <gasps> I told you. Yeah. That was Brittany. She said, well, there's two of them in there. That was the other comment was, man, the doctor could have eased you into that. I was like, no. There is no easing in from one to two. That trust me. It's a band-aid ripoff. I wish there. I wish I'd have had a camera when you was describing it. Me, well, he moved the wand. Yeah. And and he pushed down on her belly a little bit and a little face popped up. There. And then Martin goes, then, then Okay, said, I'm gonna stop recording now. Then, then, <laughs> then the doctor moved the wand a little bit to the right there and pushed in again and it oh another face. No! <laughs> He's so happy. The, the, oh, it is. The look on fun. your face, I, I would have loved that because I'd have blew it up and put a big, big picture of it. Me too. I think next time I'm going to take a GoPro <laughs> and have that on me just in case there is a third one. I want to know what this – in the camera, you're probably just going to see it go – Just drop. probably just going to fall. But Something Like dropping a mic. You know. Boop. Mic Boop. drop. Well – Let's take our last break. <laughs> Martin's uh, let's. Well, Martin's gonna need a minute to recover. Ah, uh, it's fine. I've I've dealt <laughs> with it. I've been on the phone. Uh, Look, here's what I tell you. Everybody says it about their fans. We truly do have the greatest fans in the world because every one of them has been so kind, so positive, saying they're praying for me and her and for a healthy pregnancy and all of that. Mm -hmm. And just keep doing it because uh, yeah, we need your prayers and you need to practice. So right. you know, Dirty. just keep on keep on lifting us up. We'll take every one of them we can get. So we'll be back right after this. Johnny D, what is in that inbox today? Hello oh, at the, oh, dot com. Well, Scott emails in. Oh, Scott from Michigan. 
Scotty Scheffler, the Masters champion? Nope. No. Scott, I don't use last names because who knows? I don't miss they you. told me not to. Um, what's up, Duck Call Room? Love listening to you guys. Bluebell ice cream is his absolute favorite. It's a treat, but our family can only enjoy it when we are vacationing in the South. They went to Florida for spring break, and Bluebell's not in Michigan where he's from. So he sent somebody to the store to buy some ice cream. And they all wanted the Millennium Crunch, but Uncle Cy, talking about black walnut, <laughs> the best, convinced him that this is the only ice cream they needed to try. So he decided to bring that flavor back. And st- he was sent to the store to get ice cream. They said Millennium Crunch. He said, no, Uncle Cy says black walnut. <laughs> so he brings it back. <coughs> Big mistake. It was terrible. And I've been oh. hearing about it for days. <laughs> Multiple families are upset with him for listening to Cy's ice cream taste buds. Does Cy have some advice for me to make this right? <coughs> dot, dot, dot. I trusted him. <laughs> and now you want to trust him to make it right? <laughs> hey, here's how you make it right. You just tell them, suck it up, boys. They got bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> Black walnut is only okay, by the way. And send all no, leftovers. Okay. Send, send all hey, leftovers to one seventeen Kings Lane. I feel it. Hey, look, one, two, hey. two. that just goes to show you. Okay, it's great to have variety in your life. Okay. I like black walnut. Yeah. I think I would have bought. Okay, what if we I'd was all the them. same? You know, how boring would that be? What's your favorite, Philip? No, I just said I would have bought both ice types of ice cream when I went yeah. to make sure I didn't get yeah. in trouble with the family. I don't know why they're so impressed with Millennium Crunch. That ain't ever been my bag. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> I, I'd put it in the same category as Black Walnut. You can't have like, Wait a I'll minute. Eat Wait it. a minute. Uh-oh. I'm just saying Uh-oh. I'll eat it. It's Uh-oh. not my... Uh-oh. Now, look, my favorite one that... Anger Blue, in the man's eyes. Uh, my yeah. favorite one Bluebell makes is uh, the Butter Crunch or whatever, which is just like peanut butter in... Like a butterfinger chopped up in there, essentially. Yeah. I actually didn't look at it good, and I actually grabbed some, and it wasn't black walnut. What was it? It was pecan. How was it? Pecan okay. crawling? Hey, no, no. When, when I bite into it, I was talking, uh-oh, this bad, this bad bunch of walnuts here. Something, <laughs> something ain't right. Yeah. Well, I used to well, have I, that. I don't like a bunch of crunch in, in, in ice cream. <laughs> well, then you really want, like, millennium yeah. crunch. yeah. I'm not big on nuts in ice cream. And that's like, what is it? Yeah. Uh, Why y'all got to do I that? Yeah, that. I can't, uh, caramel. Caramel crunch. Uh, no, horrible. I used to like that Creole horrible. cream cheese or whatever they had for That thing was something. legit. Yeah, that's Bring good. that back, yo. Yeah. Banana pudding's a good one. All right, now I'm just, now we're going down a path we yeah, shouldn't the ice cream flavors. But I still maintain, just go with mint chocolate chip. Everybody yeah. likes that. That's Everybody good. has different taste. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since Brittany discovered that Baskin Robbins on the way to Honey Hole. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's always. I avoid that place. You can't go buy it. Mint chocolate chip shake. (laughs) Yeah, pull in. Got it. Medium mint chocolate chip shake. Give me my regular shake. I'm I'm not doing it. I want to, though, on my way back to work. I love Baskin (laughs) Robbins. I love ice cream. I love eating food. All right. (laughs) Hey, my name is Brayden. Brayden? Brayden. Brayden. My girl, he needs some advice. Uh-oh. I don't know if Brayden's going to like our advice. How old is Brayden? Don't know. My girlfriend wants to go to this wedding on the 21st of May, and I don't really, and I really don't want to go. The thing, the wedding is on my birthday, and she is upset because I don't want to go to her soon sister-in-law to go to her, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Soon sister-in-law. Suggested that we go to, the, I don't know what he meant there. He doesn't want to go to the wedding. And his sister-in-law suggested that we go to the wedding and do something after that. Is that a good idea or what should I do? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Hey, you idiot. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. I told him he uh-oh. wasn't going to like it. All right, we done jerk, we done jerk <laughs> Martin's train. Yo, watch out now. Uh, Brayden. Hey. Big uh, uh, what I'm going to say is. Do you like this girl, Brayden? Yeah. You go go to the wedding. It's in May. For crying out loud, it could be in November. And your birthday's like, overrated. You know, yeah. it's my birthday. So what? Go to the How wedding. How old are you? Like. A wedding on your birthday is a birthday party that somebody else paid for. Yes. Go act like it's your birthday party. Eat all the cake. All of it. Eat all the refreshments. Come on. Take some presents with you. If drinks are your thing, have a free one, by goodness. Did you just say take some presents with you? No, I didn't say that. He said that. 
Phil. Uh, yeah, That's I don't get this, man. I, I sense a phobia here. Of what? Uh-oh. Uh, a fear. He don't want to go to a oh. wedding with his girlfriend. Oh. Wisdom, Ooh. wisdom. Sock is hit it from a different angle. If he goes to this wedding with his girlfriend, the next, on that time, bag, son. Hey, That's the next good. time, okay, is he going to be talking about, hey, when are we going to get married? <laughs> That's what it is. It's a fear of phobia, yeah. boy. Yeah. Braden, son. Phobia. And that is why he is 74, yeah. and you can't spell wise without SI, son. That's true. Thank you. There it is. <laughs> that <laughs> is it. Braden. Great point. You got cold feet, son. Now we yeah. know. Hey. Yeah. This Braden. ain't about your birthday. Nope. It's about yeah. commitment. And also, yeah. let me give me a piece of advice, Braden. You sound like you're the age of where, just like I told Walter, I talked to him the other day. He called me to congratulate me. I asked him about his girlfriend. He said, oh, you know, I don't know. I said, look, Walter, you're to the age now. If you're in a relationship that ain't leading towards marriage, you're wasting your time. So, <laughs> like, what are you doing it for? Yeah. Speed. So, if this is, if Braden, if that's not where you think this is heading, then May 21st has got a lot easier for you. Oh, yeah. boy. Like, yeah. Don't go. Ooh. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, don't go. It'll don't end go. itself. You'll snuff yeah. itself out. Like, <laughs> See, but the say, e I'm going to be selfish and celebrate my birthday. The email made me like, focus on his birthday, not the wedding. But Cy got Cy it. Cy was like. Cy oh. snuffed it out. Cy was like, mm-hmm. So I put that nose in there and said, somebody right. My wife plans my birthday party every year with her friends. They're not even my friends. And I'm like, okay. But yeah, no problem. <laughs> Let's go good, eat with your good friends. Good advice right. from, for those that are thinking about marriage. Those people are my friends, too. And this is for the male. Learn to say yes, ma'am, a lot. <laughs> Absolutely. And look. It's worth Johnny it. D. You'll thank me. You will thank me for that, okay? Because it will save you a lot of misery. Amen, buddy. Just learn to say yes, ma'am. Amen. Oh, get Man get is a genius. Amen. All right. You want my, you want my Easter thought to, to wrap this one up? Yeah. It's a little long, so I got I got a little something. Go with I got a little something. I got a little something for Easter. We ran here for it. So Luke 23. Yeah, that's the right chapter. Jesus has already been up on the cross. People are hurling insults at him. And as you know, there are two guys on each side of him, both criminals that were also put to death alongside Jesus. And one of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you under the same sentence, we are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then that criminal looked at Jesus and said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus answered him, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. And this, my guy got me thinking this weekend, which we're one all you? criminals. Yeah. Which one are you? Which one are you? So we have their chance to respond to the gospel of Jesus Christ in two ways. Mm -hmm. We can either say, you better save me, or you can say, I know I've messed up, and I know what this man's doing for me right now and dying on this cross to save me from my sins. And it's really, are you going to let pride get in the way and say, ah, you need to, you need to do what I tell you to do? Or are you going to say, remember me when you come into your kingdom? Si, you got anything? No, no. It, 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 well, it says it all. It says it, says it all. all. Okay. Because one of them was denying that he's a sinner. Mm hmm Okay. And and look, he's lost. Okay. He's lost. Okay. He missed it. He missed it. Okay. And the other one right there at the very end of his life with, like, moments to spare. Got that, it. That just goes to show you when people think, okay, I've lived such a horrible bad life because i've had people ask me before talking about you just judge and you're saying i'm going to hell and i said no i didn't i said because the blood of christ is strong enough mm -hmm. that it don't make any difference what you did yep okay you can't be bad enough that jesus can't save you that's right amen okay and on that other side of that <clears throat> you can never be good enough in and of yourself to make it. Yep. Okay. God became flesh, died on a cross willingly for you. That's the reason he became flesh, where we could get our hands on him, the human being, and kill him. Well, he beat all that. Yeah. Amen. And, and look, our life, all of it, is a gift from the Almighty, his Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yep. And look, all you've got to do is accept it for crying out loud and then do the best you can do.
Yep. You, anybody just can like try. Thief, look at him. He said, hey, please do me a favor. Remember me when you come in your kingdom. Yep. Yep. Reminds me a lot of a coach I had in high school. He said, I don't permit, I don't demand perfection. I just demand your best. Give me your best. Give me your best. Yeah. That's all Jesus is asking of us. Listen to me. Try. Give me your listen, best shot yeah, every day. Yeah. Listen to me and then give me your best shot and keep your eyes on me. Yeah. Yeah. And because that criminal did it at the very end, that was a pretty good day. He said, Whoa, oh, yeah. whoa. He said, yeah. You're going to be on. with me in paradise. Yeah. And I often wonder what that dude that was hurling insults thought when he said that. He was like, Hold on. What? <laughs> No, uh, you got two tickets to paradise or not? Uh, <laughs> but that dude's pride got totally in the way, and he decided to make himself known. Uh, and, and like you talking about, sadly, okay, yeah. he's like you said. What happened? Uh oh, I missed it. Yeah. Missed it. So here's our. I had the chance. I had the chance, and I missed it. Yeah, it was that close. Yeah. So if you're listening to us, you don't have to miss it. You, you got an opportunity. You got an opportunity. Yep. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you're not a few minutes away like that. Good Fridays dead. tomorrow. Jesus died for you and 3 days later that dude started breathing again. Boom. And one day you can too. We hope to see you in heaven. We're going. Si, you going? Oh, hey. I'm going to fly one of these days, boys, and I ain't going to need a jet pack. I ain't going to need a plane. I ain't going to need an air, air, oh, no. helicopter. It's going to be all Jesus power. Hey, Jesus man. Power. We'll see y'all next time, right? I'm going to be an no interstellar, interstellar traveler, baby. Shh.